If you're sitting around thinking about a winter getaway, something that's a little bit different, a little bit challenging, and will leave you breathless with its natural beauty, you cannot go past the Fraser Coast and the jewel in its crown, the world heritage listed Fraser Island. The traditional way of getting to Fraser Island is by barge or by ferry, which strikes me as just a little bit unimaginative. So we've gone for something with a whole lot more zip I just have to work out how to get my bags onto the island now. It might look like fun and games, but the 40 minute trip from Harvey Bay across the Great Sandy Strait is not for the lazy tourist. The advantage is you'll see parts of Fraser Island you can't even get to by four wheel drive. My thighs are going to be killing me for the next three days. What a way to get here, I tell you. There's a multitude of different ways to experience Fraser Island, but to give you an idea of the immensity of this place and the variety of different ecosystems, what better way than to get airborne? I don't think many people actually comprehend the enormity of this island. It takes more than two hours to circumnavigate it in a chopper. At its highest point, it's 800 feet high, and it's just staggeringly beautiful. That brown runoff that you can see coming out of the rivers, it's not pollution, it's just the discoloration of the water as it passes through all the leaf litter and the humus in the rainforest. Kingfisher Bay is Fraser Island's renowned eco-resort, which means even when you're in the heart of the complex, you still feel very much part of the landscape. It's also where you can hire a four-wheel drive, a guide and a gourmet picnic for your own personal tour of the island. The great part about these guided tours is that you can drive when you want to um, and when you get sick of driving, Chris will take over. Seventy-five Mile Beach on the east coast of Fraser is the island's Pacific Highway a sometimes busy thoroughfare which has plenty to stop and see and is actually 65 miles long because Aussies do like to exaggerate about length. Oh wow, that's just magnificent. This is Lake Mackenzie. It's what they call a perch dune lake which means it sits up on top of the dunes about 180 metres above sea level. It's one of dozens of lakes. In fact, there's more water on Fraser Island than there is in all of Sydney Harbour, which makes me feel like taking a dip. Lakes one minute, rainforest the next. Fraser has an incredible capacity to surprise. It's taken me a couple of minutes to work out why I'm freaking out about this creek. It's because it's absolutely untouched. There's not a piece of litter to be seen. It's like stepping back in time and seeing it as it would have been millions of years ago. And the mozzies seem to like it too. The beauty of these personalised tours is that you can have your guide bring along a lunch so you can have a picnic anywhere you want on Fraser Island, like this beautiful spot we've chosen. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Well, this has been an out-of-the-box experience for me, I've got to tell you. I know I was expecting sunsets and beaches, but I got so much more than I bargained for. And in the process, I got to see parts of my country that, sadly, not enough of us get to experience. And quite frankly, I'm absolutely exhausted from my adventures here on the Fraser Coast and I reckon I need a bit of a holiday from this holiday.